people. What's up, Bradley here? I'm on like this to acoustic engineering. Uh, so today I just want to go over uh, services within the business uh, for the more con the what do you call this thing commercial side. Yeah, dealing with uh, audio installations for office, lounge, restaurants, or anything that you need uh, multi-zone audio for. Yeah, uh, what I mean by multi-zone audio, um, different establishments. I think mean, you know some of them very big. Uh, you would need uh, audio for ambient music or public address, and you need it for very far uh, distances, different rooms, that kind of thing. And you also want to change uh, the volume independently for each room, each area, you know. So they call those zones. Um, one of the way that I just used to um, uh, create these zones and <clears throat> distribute the power is using constant voltage amplifiers. Um, is an industry standard for the way how it's uh, set up. Um, based on, well, let's say how the it's very economical and versatile. Um, so let's say with a normal um, amplifier, normal power amplifiers, you're basically limited by the number of channels on the amplifier and the resistance uh, the amplifier sees from each speaker. Um, well, this is a major con uh, when you're doing this kind of setup, uh, commercial setups. Um, one of the major cons really is the, the wiring. It's the amount of wires you have to be running for that. Uh, each each speaker or each speaker group has to get a run direct to the amp and that's a lot um, I, the cost can end up coming up a good bit very high and yeah I think you, you want to go down that road you know? it's a lot in terms of wiring <clears throat> so now with the constant voltage amplifiers it's a lot more simple a simple design uh, these amplifiers they have something called a step up transformer uh, you step up transformer on the output and it steps up the voltage to about 70 to 100 volts on the output with that um, kind of voltage on those those um, wires you could run very thin wires and it's for very long um, runs right so if you look at this uh, diagram that we have over here uh, you will see how the connections are made to the speakers and um, one interesting thing is that uh, each of the speakers they have a small step down transformer on it so the amp has a step up transformer and at the speaker now we break down that voltage that 70 or 100 volts yeah we break it down and what that does now um we'll be able to get the, the adequate power to the speaker uh, without blowing it um it allows us to get um, a lot a lot of distance um Another thing the transformer on the speaker allows it to do is make um, adjustments. So in case you have a lower power speakers, uh, the transformer has different taps on each one that you could tap into for different power levels. And that allows us to uh, just tailor the, um, the sound signature for each zone. That's a very nice feature. Yeah, I really think so. Um, so... With this as well, now the um, step up uh, to this high voltage, we don't have to worry about impedance and that's resistance to the amp from the speakers. So if you don't have to worry about impedance and res resistance to the amplifier, uh, you can run a lot of speakers, plenty of speakers of a one amplifier uh, for long distances. Uh, so let me give you another example. Um, let's say you have about 300, a 300 watt amplifier on this uh, 70 volt system. And you could tap each one of the the speakers at five volts, five watts. I mean, um, so five volts, five watts, uh, three hundred watts um, amplifier, five, uh, five watts for each speaker. I give you sixty speakers. You could put on one channel. Think about sixty speakers, and they all get an adequate power and less heat, uh, long runs, everything. Uh, so it's a very nice system. And then also. From the same 60 volt uh, or 70 volt system, we put in a volume control at each each room, each zone. So, and then the only thing you have to worry about now is your source, uh, where you're getting your music from. Uh, in this instance, uh, we like to just use a small uh, mixing board, and we use uh, microphones, your music, everything will be on the mixing board and goes directly into the amplifier. 
simple use. Uh, I've seen a lot of installs where they, they over, they, they do a lot of stuff that is just unnecessary. So simplicity, I think that's, that's what we like. So now um, we're just going to look at a little video of um, one of our installs that we did. A very simple install, just two stories. So let's just check it out. Right, so here we have our um, amplifier. That's the um, mixing board at the side there. Uh, it's all ceiling speakers. Each of these speakers and them have their, their um, what do you call it? Transformer. Yeah, so pretty simple. And well, this place was a bit small, so they didn't uh, bother with putting the volume controls on each each uh, zone. Uh, so we just use it at the amplifier. The amplifier we use, uh, it had its own DSP, everything on it, uh, so tuning and everything was uh, done properly. Uh, not a satisfied customer. <laughs> yeah, so all ceiling speakers. Uh, later on we put uh, some subs and things, um, we don't really, um, I didn't want to really show off that as yet. So that's a very cost effective way of um, doing an install uh, for multi-zone purposes. Uh, now I want to just uh, highlight another system now that we use. Um, this one is for a bit more smaller locations, or it could be scaled. It could be scaled to different um, levels if we want to. Uh, it's basically if you you have spaces that you don't, uh, you don't have access to the coral space in your ceiling, and you don't even want to run any trunk in for wires, you don't want to run wires at all. So this is where a wireless system comes into place, right? Um, the wireless uh, solution that we use, um, it's a it's a board that we bring in. Uh, basically, we we wherever speakers that you have, uh, or even if you want to buy new speakers like monitors or bookshelf speakers, we install our own boards into the speakers. Uh, what that, that allows us to do is um, turn them wireless. Um, when they turn wireless now, we can hook them up to Wi-Fi. We don't use Bluetooth for those because because of the range and the quality. But over our Wi-Fi network now, um, there's no limit to it was how far your Wi-Fi reaches. You could put speakers wherever it is. Right, yes. Yeah, so the boards can be used with um, one or multiple speakers uh, to create zones. Uh, once we create these zones now, there's a cool part of the system where we have a, a main board. And this main board uh, connects to the, the wireless network as well. And it's controlled by an Android or Apple uh, phone or tablet or whatever device you have. You know? uh, and then the same board uh, takes uh, your, your input, well, output from your, your mixing board and comes into the, the, the device. Uh, and then you could control everything from the app. Um, you could control the, the volume for each, um, each zone. And you could also even send different audio to different places. So you have full control over everything there. Everything is um, in the independently controlled. Right, so I think I'll just show you another video now of a similar system. Um, but it's not quite like what we're using right now, but it's, a, it's, it's similar. So let's see what's going on here. So if you look at these some small uh, system, they all need is power. So each of them, they got a, a power run to them. Uh, they're working on the Wi-Fi system in the compound. And if you look at the abos, uh, so no subwoofer I needed for this as well. Um, it's very nice. Uh, there's also an app for this uh, system. Uh, but this one was computer based. So they wanted it to, to be on an actual computer, not no app on the phone. So yeah. Uh, 
And boy was this loud for being so small and that's the volume controls for each one. So wireless or wired uh, we have you covered. Um, also all of our systems are pretty much scalable in any direction. Um, it's all about if you want to do a consultation and we will measure your, your, your building and see exactly what you need. You know, uh, each establishment is um, is different, so you know, there are a lot of different factors that will come into play. Uh, but we try to implement a system that uh, will integrate seamlessly into mm -hmm. your space. Um, some of the key considerations that we, we take into account. Well, the first and most important would be cost. Um, and we make sure that there is no surprise cost. You know, when you get the, the most bang for your buck, as they say yeah so we try to give you the most cost effective system as loud as possible uh, next factor would be neatness you know we want to make sure everything is unobtrusive um, clean installs so yeah I don't like you know nasty installs and wires hanging over the place and thing. yeah you have to look like if you don't even have any audio you just need to hear it <laughs> yeah uh, next factor would be tuning um, one thing at Harmonic this little acoustic engineering, uh, we proud we pride ourselves on our tuning capabilities, whether it's stereo or mono. Uh, we just make sure you get the best out of your equipment, you know. And the next thing would be ease of use. We want to make sure that all these systems are they're not com uh, overly complicated, and there's not much uh, user input that would cause problems. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to be spending more money just to fix a problem. You want it to be locked tight, you know? Yeah. So, no margin for errors. <laughs> so, yeah, that um, brings us to the end of the presentation. Um, you can call us at what's or WhatsApp. 1-866-263-9040. Uh, um, also, you can check out our link tree uh, for all our social platforms. Um, also, this is YouTube, so... If you want to give us a little subscribe, if you like this kind of content, um, we're not just sharing ads and you know, advertisement for the business. We're also going to do some tutorials, probably um, a lot of things for, for learning purposes. I think that people who um, I do audio for, um, they should have a fair understanding of what's going on as well. You know, everything audio on this channel. So if you like, give me a little subscribe. Uh, so I'm uh, looking forward to doing business with you all. Uh, thanks for watching.